Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, in this video, so it's the second episode of managing this buy to let renovation project. So I'm probably just gonna keep it like the same sort of theme, the same sort of style that I did in the first episode, which is like just a general walk around, an update on what's happened, how it's going and how we're getting on because we're making really, really good progress. And I wanted to get in and film this just before the plastering happens as that's sort of the stage we're at now is we're ready to have the whole place plastered. So they've been in today prepping and getting ready and then tomorrow they start skimming. So quite an exciting stage and something that I'm really excited to sort of see. But I wanted to get in and get that sort of middle ground filmed, edited and put up so we can see the difference. So yeah, without further ado, let's start walk walking through. So coming through the hallway into the first room, now, this is um, the lounge, like the first reception room. And in here, what we've done recently is had all of the electrics, all of the plumbing, all of um, the wallpaper stripped, all that sort of stuff has been done in this room just to get it fully, fully ready to be done um, and plastered. So we've had a couple of lads in here over the weekend just smashing it out, getting all the paper stripped off and just getting us generally prepped, ready for the plasterers. Electricians have been in and fitted, they're all first fix done, and all the plumbers have been in running the central heating pipes, all the rads, um, hot and cold feeds, you know, all that sort of stuff, fitting the boiler, and they've been doing all of that this week as well. So this room's pretty much done and ready. Um, fireplaces have been blocked up, removed, all that sort of good stuff as well. And yeah, that's basically this room on the whole. Now, as we move, into the sort of diner kitchen space a lot has happened in here as well so obviously the steel was already in the acros have been removed and that's sort of all set up and done last thing we need to do in here to be ready for the plasterers is to dot and dab all of the reveals uh, the little nib that's holding the steel up and then fireboard the steel and then overboard the ceiling in here as well other than that everything else is ready to go um, so we've got to make sure we get that done this week whilst the plasterers start upstairs before they work their way down but in here we've done all of the doors we've done the kitchen window as well boiler is in all the pipe works in electrics first fix is all done rads in fireplaces out and all blocked up so yeah, a lot has happened this week in this room as well in sort of aim for getting it ready for the plasterer so we can get that fresh, clean look in here and, and sort of press forward with the final stages. And yeah, it's looking really, really nice. Um, having those French doors has made a massive difference. And the bonus that I found is we already had an existing window there, which was quite a large window. Having French doors that wide was just, you know, out of the question really. But we worked with a, a friend of mine who supplies everything from windows and doors. They're doing a lot on my house and they've done a lot for jobs that we've worked on in the past. And he suggested a side light and that looked really, really cool. Um, and it filled that space up so there was less work um, for the builder to sort of make these fit. So we've got French doors and a side light, still nice sized doors and that side light brings loads of light in. We didn't have to do any work with blocking anything up. So we could just take out the existing wall at the bottom, take that window out and slide them straight in, which was fantastic. And they look really, really good. I've also chosen to have the primary, the main door, the master door on that far left because it really opens up through into the garden and it flows really, really nicely. That was a conversation that we had to have was where we want the side light, where we want the double doors, um, but where the kitchen's position, we didn't want the doors too close to the end of the units. So we sort of brought them over and have that master door on the far left. But again, as you open that master door, it's straight out and flows into the whole of the garden. Whereas if that right middle door was to open, it sort of split you in half and half of the garden. So I think that works really, really well. But yeah, so we've done a lot in this room. Um, and again, as I say, just making great progress moving forward to getting ready for the plasterers. But yeah, as we move forward back through the hallway, we come through up the stairs. Um, in regards to the hallway, again, it's just been really stripping paper. We've had the uh, radiators fitted as well. So we've got a rad out in the hallway as well, just to sort of, you know, maximize heat, make it as efficient as possible and sort of, you know, as best for the tenants as possible, really. Um, as we come upstairs, we'll go straight into the bathroom. 
I mean, to be honest, it's, it's fairly similar in here to what it was in the previous video, but more towels have been stripped, everything's been sort of cleared out and prepped. We've got hot and cold feeds for the bath, um, and then the kitchen fitter can fit the feeds for the sink and the towel rail. So, because we don't know exactly where everything's going, we wanted to get the plumber in and do everything they needed to do before plastering. So they've been in, done that, so yeah, we can get the plaster in, get that in, and then we can rejig pipes. Another thing was where we wanted the shower. Because we hadn't confirmed what we're gonna have with the shower and the bath, it was just like, if we got the plumber in and they fitted all the pipe works where they think it should go, then we come to fit the kitchen and it doesn't fit, and we need to move it again. It's just extra manpower, extra hours, and extra cost. So if they put the hot and cold feeds there, I trust the, the bathroom fitter, you know, they run pipes, do that sort of stuff every single day. So he'll be able to run them exactly where he wants them for that shower mixer. So yeah, just to save time and, and save money as well. As we come out of the bathroom and we move into the first little bedroom, it's quite sunny, quite bright in here. So again, same story with this room, uh, new rad, pipe work, electrics, um, is all in, ready to rock and roll. Um, the, all of the walls you'll see like this sort of bluey paint look to it. So this is a blue grit. So the plasterers, most plasterers if you use a PVA or a blue grit, and what that does is it helps the adhesion of the plaster to your masonry walls. So if you ever see like plasterboarded walls, you know, you don't need to do that. You can just skim straight onto them. But with all of your rendered walls, internal walls, masonry walls, stuff like that, you need to PVA it to get a bond, otherwise it'll just suck all the moisture out and it'll just, you know, crack and cause problems. So you've got to, you know, add that. So that's what you're seeing, all this, all this blue stuff behind me and, and all that sort of stuff. It's just to help with the adhesion when you come to skimming or bonding out, using hardwall, any of those sort of plaster products. So yeah, everything's been blue gritted, all the paper's been stripped off the walls. All the electrics are in, all the plumbing's in, all the floorboards are back down because we had a problem with that one. I, had, I came here to double check everything before the lads were in and somebody had thrown out the floorboards in that front little bedroom. So we had to dig through all the pile of rubbish out the front, find those, bring them back in so the lads could fit them all back down so we've got floor in for the plasters to work off. And as we move into the master bedroom, um, Again, same story. It's um, blue gritted, all ready to be plastered. All the electrics are in, all the plumbing pipe works in, rads are in, um, and it's just, yeah, it looks really good and it's all sort of ready to go. Um, I mean, you, some of you might have noticed that we've got all of the electrics have been chased into the walls and all of the pipe work is, isn't. So like downstairs in the hallway, the lounge and the rad in the kitchen, they're all surface mounted, whereas all of the electrics is all chased. The reason we did this was to save cost, and we've got a lot more electrics compared to the plumbing side of things. So it's just three rads down there with exposed pipe work that will be boxed in, so you won't really see it anyway. But because with the electrics, we had loads of sockets and switches, we didn't want those all surface mounted, so we chased those in. And also all the rads upstairs, because these are wooden floors, you can run all your pipe works and they come straight out the floor and straight into your rad. So there's no surface mounting in any of the upstairs rooms. So it's literally just those three rads. But yeah, for those of you watching that have noticed that, that's the reason why we've done that. It saves a little bit of cost and time as well because we want to get this build completed, sorted and tenanted as soon as possible. Because obviously for a lot of investors, their money sat in these properties, you know, burning a hole in their pocket until tenants are in there. So, you know, we've got to find a balance of cost and time. But yeah, I mean, it's really coming along. We're making great progress. And like I say, I wanted to sort of get in here, get a video done before the plasterers come in because it's going to look like a, like a whole different property once it's plastered. And that will make a really big difference before we head to that final push of, you know, kitchen, bathroom, painting, carpets, doors, the, the clean stuff. So, you know, this should be the last of all the dirty, dusty stuff, and, you know, we should be coming to, to a close on that. But yeah, as I'm saying, that's sort of this video done. Um, it was just a little update. I hope that sort of made a lot of sense. Actually, somebody did ask about costings from the previous video. So we're looking to spend around 25, 26,000 pounds on this full renovation. We're about, I believe, 12,000 in. Um, I'll double check 
um, the tracker um, after after today, but I think we're about twelve thousand pounds in. So we've got you know a good sort of thirteen thousand pounds left to go. Um, so we'll see how we get on. Thirteen to fourteen thousand. We're on track. Like I say, we've got the plasters in. Then we've got the kitchen, supply and fit the bathroom, carpets, paint. You know, and some any you know any sort of miscellaneous little bits and bobs. But I think, you know, we're on track, personally, in my opinion, I think we're on track and we're doing really, really well as well on time. So, yeah, it's really coming together, really coming together, and that also gives you an idea on price. But, yeah, as always, please like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, all that sort of good stuff that YouTube-type people say. And, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.